اهلا استاذ اهلا شو وين الشباب؟ هلا بيجوا Where is Christ? Hi, Christ. Ahlan, hi, Kaz. Tell me, Tarek. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's remember some rules before solving. What is the integral of e to the ax? One over a. Just me a number revision, Allah. No, no, but he'll solve it. Not revision. This is the relation with integrals. But he'll solve it. Related to integrals. One over a e to the ax. Okay, integration by parts. Give a method of integration by parts. What's the rule for integration by parts? What's the rule? Integration by parts. Integral of u dv equals u v minus integral of v du. And the second rule that we have to remember: integration by parts. Third rule: if fx greater than or equal to zero for all x belongs to AB. Then integral from A to B Then integral from a to b f x dx is greater or equal to zero. If f x 
less than or equal to zero for all x over AB بيطلع لنا ال fx integral from a to b fx dx Another rule, if f greater than g for all x belongs to AB, it's an integral from A to B, fx dx greater than integral from a to b gx. dx. The last rule. So, so, so Simon, fx um, integral from c to b, f a to b. Uh. If f less than g for all x belongs to a b then integral from a to b f x dx Less than integral from a to b gx dx. Okay, these rules that we should know. Did you write all these notes? Yes, but hey, most simple rules says yani, if f is greater than g and integrals come and do the same greater. I will now show from the application. Exercise eleven. Consider the sequence i n defined for all non-zero natural numbers by i n equals zero to one x to the n e to the minus x dx x to the n e to the minus x dx. Show that the sequence is bounded below by zero. How to show the sequence is bounded below by zero? Who can tell how to show this sequence? Haikaz, you said simple. How to show this sequence is bounded below by zero? Can number minus. Shubhan, I n is bounded below by zero. No, one. I n is is negative. Remember, I n is greater than or equal to zero for every n. We need to prove that i n is greater than zero for every n. Who, how to prove i n greater than zero for every n? Uh, 
Yes, I am waiting, Shabib. As Hon says, who were Ariel and not below zero? For example, your age is bounded below by 16. What does it mean? Your age is bounded below by 16. Your age is less than 16 or greater than 16? <laughs> greater. Right, on the sequence is I am bounded below by zero, but in I n is greater than zero. Okay. For this purpose, I have the integral from zero to one. The X is between zero and one. From where I know that X is between zero and one? Since I n is greater than zero. Since x will integral from 0 to 1, you know that x varies from 0 to 1. So x is between 0 and 1. This is the 0. And that is the 1. OK, Haikaz. Yes. Then x to the n. Bounded below by 0, and yani 0. Then x to the n is between 0 and 1. Yes? I multiply by e to the minus x each side, since e to the minus x is a positive number. So if my this is 0 less than x n e to the minus x less than or equal e to the minus x. It means that x n e to the minus x is greater or equal to zero. It means that if a function is positive, then integral from zero to one then the integral from zero to one xn e to the minus x dx greater than or equal to zero. It means that in is greater than or equal to zero. Any questions? No. OK. Show that the sequence is decreasing. How to prove that the sequence is decreasing? This one uh, x and e minus x give um, z now. I had no mean. I multiplied this since I have e to the minus x here. Uh, I multiply this inequality by a positive number here by e to the minus x. I multiply 0 times e to the minus x is 0. Uh, to prove that this sequence is decreasing, I, I take the difference. I n plus one minus I n. Equals I n plus one, this is integral from zero to one x to the n plus 1, e to the minus x, dx, minus integral from 0 to 1, x to the n, 
e to the minus x. dx. What we can do here, Shabib? How to subtract these two integrals? Financial g minus x uh, should be a constant. I can put them under the same integral. e to the minus x is not constant. I can put them under the same integral, x to the n plus 1, e to the minus x, minus x to the n, e to the minus x, dx. I put them under the same integral. Integral of the sum equals sum of the integrals. Next step, what is the next step? Yeah, what's common? Should sure, come on. Um, if you then put x and e minus x. x n e minus x common, what remains here? One. The One? X, X. X minus one, DX. Okay, what is the sign of this expression? X to the N E to the minus X, say the positive. Either we prove that it is positive. X to the n e to the minus x positive. What about the sign of x minus one? Negative. X between zero. X between zero and one. Then x minus one. Negative. Either negative. If the integrated function is negative, then the integral is negative. So i n plus one. But this one is this? Yes. Uh, and, uh, is a one, is one, x is one. Uh, yeah, it was one, because in a less or it is zero. In a less or equal, I uh, Chris, less or equal. Oh, and one, okay. it is equal to zero. Yes. So I am one, I n is decreasing. Statement of our key values, x between zero and one. Since I have the integral between zero and one, x is between zero and one. If you have the integral from 2 to 5, means x is between 2 and 5. Who can prove this relation? Part three A. So I will use the method of integration by parts. Part three. I n plus one. equals integral from zero to one 
x to the n plus 1, x to the n plus 1, e to the minus x dx. I am going to use integration by parts. What is u, what is dv? With exponential, I take u demand x. u is equal to x n plus 1 with dv equal e to the minus x. du, who can tell what say du? What's the derivative of x to the power n plus 1? So it's on كيف حولنا بالx وين حولنا بالx لا لا خاصة أستاذ إذا أخذنا u u equal x n plus one what is the derivative لل u يا boys n plus one x to the n the power بينزل ومن ناقص the power واحد v equals integral of e to the minus x dx. Thomas, what's the integral of e to the minus x dx? Um, normal 1 over minus 1. Minus, minus, minus 1 e minus x. OK, then using integration by parts, I m plus one equals u v minus integral of v du. Then I n plus one u v u b v. Let's see minus x n plus one. e to the minus x between 0 and meg minus integral from 0 to 1 uh, vdu vdu but here I put a plus and we had a minus times minus but here plus n plus 1 x to the n e to the minus x dx. هيدا أول مرة بعمل replace the x by one. إذا عملنا replace the x by one بتصير minus one e to the power minus one plus zero. تاني مرة بعمل replace x by zero. Here n plus one is constant. تطلع برا برا integral. Integral from zero to one, x to the n, e to the minus x. E to the minus one, I can put it minus one over e plus n plus one, i n. Any questions still here, Shabir? No. 
Part B. Sesi RFC şu minus one over e plus n plus one. I n. Thomas, did you finish? Yes. Now calculate I1 and deduce the value of I2. Calculate I1 and deduce the value of I2. So I1. I1 equal integral from 0 to 1. I can't x to the n. I1 is x to the 1, e to the minus x. This is I1. Integration by parts, I can do tabular, tabular integration by parts. Zakaro had a method of integration by parts. Yes. Here I put u, here I put, here I put u, here I put dv. U is the polynomial part. On this side, I make derivative. Derivative of x1, derivative of 1, 0. In this side, I make antiderivative. The antiderivative of e to the minus x is minus 1 e to the minus x. And the antiderivative of e to the x, uh, of minus e to the minus x is e to the minus x. I multiply Should diagonal. Which one given? I1. Who can is more I n? Hey, that given. I n. I1, I replace n by 1. Okay? Hey, that is it is more I1. Who I only calculate I1. Is it understood, Thomas? Yes. Thomas, I multiply diagonal. This one times that one is minus x e to the minus x minus this times that, either, getting minus e to the minus x between 0 and 1. First time I replace x by 1. See, minus e to the minus 1, minus e to the minus 1, minus 0, minus 1. We get 1 minus 2 over e. Deduce I2. How to deduce I2? How to deduce the value of I2? When had I the I1? One. I had to hide a relation, I had a relation here. If we replace n by how much to get i2? If we put n by n1, we i2, i2 equal 2i1 minus 1 over e. i2 equal 2i1 minus 1 over e. I'm good. If we replace n by 1. Eh, from here. Eh, did you i1? Hey, and we can see the question. You are going to use it from the part level. If we replace m by one, we get i two equal two i one minus one over e. This is the relation that we have proved. If n equal one, as a certain amount of n one. Let's see, I2 equal minus 1 over E plus 2I1 
minus 1 over e plus 2. I1 is 1 minus 2 over e. After expand and simplify, we get 2 minus 5 over e. This is I2. This is all for this exercise and for today. Okay, yes, that's good actually. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.